Do you want to increase your sales and profits by double digits this year? Dick Olick and his staff at Consultants and Cleaning, LLC, can provide both telephone and on-site assistance to help you do just that. There are no long-term agreements required from this industry pro with nearly 50 years of making it happen. Dick and his team have a proven track record and stand ready to help you. Visit their website at www.consultantsandcleaning.com or give them a call at 573 573- 873-9500. Welcome to Tri Podcast, episode 222. It's Monday, May 21st. And Dick Alec asks, what do you mean, systems and processes? Dick points out that the most successful organizations have well-established systems and processes in place that help them succeed and continue to grow. He offers tips and techniques to let you get started today. Let's listen in. One of the uh, new ch- one of the chapters in my new book, "The Do's and Don'ts of Contract Cleaning from One Who Did and Didn't," is entitled "What Do You Mean Systems and Processes?" Well, you know, I uh, I spent twenty some years in a peer group. In fact, the peer group that I was associated with was the original one that started clear back in nineteen eighty three, and it became. T- clear and apparent early on while we were in that peer group that those who were succeeding and doing the best in that group were those that had systems and processes in place. And I learned a tremendous amount from those people knowing that you need to be systematized, you need to have a process on how you run your business. And and so I want to suggest to you, listening to this and, and, and watching this, that you start thinking in, 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 in that manner of systems and processes for your company. The, because the earlier you start, the easier it is to do. And because once you're up there in a, a large company, it's very hard to, uh, if you've made it to a large company without systems and processes, it's very hard to put them in place. But let me just suggest that you maybe start with an administrative manual. It's the first way to get started and that that would include such things as a uh, just things like your timekeeping procedure and the forms that you use in timekeeping. Do you, if you have automated timekeeping, uh, what are the forms you use? What are the processes? You put that in. That's maybe chapter one, or maybe that's tab one in your admin manual, or your or your timekeeping procedures. Then another tab might be all your personnel forms. Uh, you know, the including a uh, new hiring process manual, a new hire process manual for what's the process to go through when you hire someone new. This is an area where a lot of people uh, have difficulty and that is they forgot to tell this person that or they forgot to tell this person something and uh, we designed a, a process checklist where you just go down and make sure all these things are in place. You would put that into your manual to make sure that that uh, you go through a process of hiring and, and orient, orientating people to the job. You would include their assignment form, you know, a form that says where are you going to work, who do you meet, what door uh, do you go to uh, at that particular facility, uh, vehicle usage forms, in other words, who can use vehicles and, and mileage forms, uh, employee confidentiality agreement forms, uh, what about your purchasing procedures, and maybe you say, well, I'm just a small company and, and uh, I don't really need purchasing procedures, but you will. You know, how do you go about your purchasing and who do you buy from and why? Uh, what about your uh, company vehicles? Uh, I mentioned that earlier, but you should have forms in there for you know, where are your, uh, who are they assigned to, what are the vehicles, uh, the uh, VIN numbers of them, their ages, the, the, all of that, and who's assigned to them, the um, uh, credit cards, if you know, for them and who's got them. Then you would have another tab that says supply order system, how do we order supplies in this company. Uh, maybe not just calling up old Joe, the local salesman, and say, send over a couple buckets of this. You know, what is our process? Who is responsible? Who is authorized to do it? Uh, 
workers compensation forms would be another one that you'd put in there how, well how do we handle what is our procedure you know when workers comp uh, claim occurs what do we do what hospital or what clinic do we take them to what are our company doctors who are the company doctors what about a tab for training procedures how do we do our training uh, another tab that has job descriptions of your of your employees of your various positions in your company and then a tab for safety information now you can have as many tabs as you want but these are just some of the key tabs that you would want to put in, a, in an admin manual uh, you see it the earlier you start this the earlier you begin uh, a systems and pro, a, a, a systems and processes in your organization the uh, further along you're going to be as you as you grow because as you're growing rapidly you don't want to be stopping to do these things that frankly not many of us enjoy but they have to be done they have to be put in place so I want you to su I want to suggest to that to tomorrow or maybe even today you start to formalize your company's systems and processes You've been listening to a Tripodcast, short video and audio presentation about important topics in our industry. If you're a current subscriber to the Tripodcast, thank you. We appreciate it. If you're not yet a subscriber, please check it out. It's free and it's easy. Come to www.tripodcast.com, enter your email address on the right-hand column, and click subscribe. We'll send you out a new Tripodcast every Monday morning.